northeast at nine miles per hour. And the forecast for continued warm and sunny. These two teams first met in 1916. Tennessee won the first 10. Florida has never been tied or led in the series. They have a chance to tie it this afternoon. Tennessee won the toss. They deferred. That means the kickoff will go deep. And Brandon James, one of the most important... Oh, he bobbles the ball. Well, forget what I was saying. But he's still a threat. Isn't he? Watch out! Out of bounds inside the 45. Uh, by the way, he's one of the 12 guys that run under 4-4. He did. And Emmanuel Moody is in the backfield. He's only got two carries for two yards this season. They ride Moody up the middle, and the transfer from USC got a first down to the 32-yard line. Blitz coming from the corner. Tebow shovel pass. That's good for a first down plus as Aaron Hernandez gets the little shovel and picks up the first down, a gain of 13. Tebow jump pass. Third time he's done it. Third time he's gotten a touchdown. We have seen it each of the last two years. The jump pass, it brings back memories of Y.A. Tittle. Really interesting that Florida knew that people had... Tempted by Jonathan Phillips, a senior who's getting his first extended action in his career. The kick is up, and it is good. Second and 15. Blitz coming by Florida from the backside. And a beautiful open field tackle. That is a catch and a fumble and a recovery by Florida. Come on. You could see the lineman throw his bean back. He definitely called it. Recovery by Florida. First down. Janoris Jackson, who is a true freshman. 5'10", 185 pounder, number 29 who has seen significant action and huh. now that's Moore who moves Tebow back good blocking nobody open he throws it oh my gosh how about that, that was awesome play that was awesome and you know that could be the difference of a field goal that could be a three-point play Phillips now two for two in his final season at Florida throw deep balls I predict Arian Foster in the backfield they fired out to Gerald Jones and he can't quite escape the tackle of Wandy Louis Pierre Brandon Spikes after Louis Pierre held him yes. well he's not off limits to this game he's, he's now under a gag order play fake Crompton almost intercepted guess who Boy, they were all over that. I mean, there was no one to throw that. Not had a quick start to the season. He's already had one blocked and returned for a touchdown. That at UCLA. This is nice, high, and deep. Brandon James. Watch oh. out. There are no flags. Brandon James for a touchdown. 78 yards. Extra point by Phillips is up and good. He's done it again. Yeah, it, it, it's not that Tennessee's not trying. They just can't get close to him right now. Earlier this season, James returned 174 yards. This one, 78. That's Philip Fulmer. All right, Tim, thank you. Third and three here. Volunteers find themselves down by 17. Jones, or Crompton, rather, comes right. And the catch is made by Jones. The tackle is made by Joe Hayden. One of five boys, his brother plays running back at Boston College. Great pressure. The pass is released over the middle. That should be another first down. Brandon Warren, who took a circuitous path. 
Here's the G-Gun formation again for the third time. And Jones heads left, cracks the 40, first down Tennessee. Great game, the first game of the season out in Los Angeles against UCLA. He's the more physical back, and he gets the handoff, comes right, and team. Blitz, Florida, Crompton across the middle, caught short of the first down. Well, no, wait yeah. a minute. He may have gotten it with that effort. He did. That's the tight end, Luke Stocker. And it is Foster at tailback. Fumble, that was not Foster. My, 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 my. Crompton. And Florida has recovered. Foster's got to say, what am I, jinxed or something? Still on the field. Here's the corner blitz. There's the option to Harvin. And he is uh, keel hold as he gets it near the 30-yard line, but that's going to be another first down. Nine yard. They came from behind and won it here in primetime two years ago, 21-20. Here's Tebow back. Drills it deep. First deep attempt, and Harvin has it for a first down at the 40-yard line. 34-yard game. To, you're right. That's James out there. Yes. It's here's Harvin. Percy Harvin telling the, the media in uh, Florida he's 100%. He had to the right. Fourth and three. Motion. More motion. Flags down. The pass is incomplete, but they might have drawn them across the neutral zone. That, that's inexcusable. Inexcusable. The only thing on fourth ball. Ball start. Offense, five-yard penalty, remains fourth down. That had to be a flinch. Ups, first game on the road, the senior. It's up from 40 yards, and it is good. Well, it's the G-gun formation again. Crompton going to try the same play. The handoff, no, it's no handoff. It's uh, Jones who shakes the tackle. And squirts out to the 49, perhaps the 50-yard line. The uh, misread. 121 to go before. Blitz again. Crompton comes near side. Little caught at the 10. Down to the 5. Josh Briscoe, number 81. Two receivers right side. Crompton across the middle. Tip incomplete. Fourth down. Intended for Stocker. 12 seconds to go in the half. Play fake. Crompton under pressure. Puts it back in the end zone. It's intercepted. And they're going to run it out. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely smart. Doesn't hurt you at all. There's two seconds left in the half. You might as well try to score. Smart play. Going with the V-O-L-S yeah, right. cheer. That's right. And uh, nobody, nobody joined him. Uh, was, he was almost yelling by himself. Oh, Tennessee was held up pretty well there. Brandon James, they fake the uh, handoff of Brandon James across the 50 and inside Tennessee territory. That's a 13-yard out of the spread. Handoff Moody gets a block, gets another block from Murphy downfield. And he's picked up a first down. Eric Berry with the tackle and D'Angelo Willings. All of them were juniors. Tebow, the first sophomore ever. Comes left. Oh, boy. Nice open field tackle by Eric Berry. Step. All right, Tim, thank you. It's third down and one. Tebow keeps it. Cuts first down at the 20-yard line. That'll be a first down and 10. For more on Tim, away from the field, let's get on to Tracy Wolf. So much has been made of Georgia's schedule and their preseason ranking is number one. And I think you'd agree that uh, Florida has the much easier road to the SEC championship. That ball thrown to the end zone. Touchdown! Percy Harvin. 15 yards. You know, there's so much difference in Tebow this year than last year. He knew it was a blitz, and he just kept... <laughs> oh, you made me snort. Here's Jonathan Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember in those horror movies that the, the monster always starts yeah. out with? Arian Foster is the running back on third and seven. 
And that pass is going to be incomplete. Is there a flag? Yes, it comes late. Thrown way downfield, about 20 yards away. On first down, Crompton play fake. Goes deep. He's got Taylor open. And Lucas Taylor makes the catch at the 32-yard line. Major Wright and Jacques Dickers Rickerson. Looks left. Protection. Touch it. He'll run it. Yep. To the fifth. Oh, my. Joe Hayden met Crompton up high. Crompton held three men wide, two to the right. Crompton. Inside the five. Touchdown. Touchdown. Yep. Luke Stucker, number 88. Time for the old eyeglasses, huh? It has been determined that the runner was down prior to the ball breaking the plane. It will be first down at the three-quarter three yard line. First down. Uh, you don't need glasses. Well, I can it. It's going to be sneak, yes. sneak formation again, at least. Nothing. Second effort. Second effort. Yeah, got it. Got yep. It. So Tennessee's on the board. Crompton, one yard, and it's fine. Across the middle, tipped, and incomplete. Tight end was wide, 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 wide. But he pulls it out of the hat with the jump pass and the fine pass. Yeah, and, and, and Moody's established himself a little bit too, don't you think? Yes, and here he goes again. Urban Meyer telling us. Dean here, isn't it? I would think so. Third and one. There's 15, and that's another first down. You just can't have better news than Moody emerging and for Florida. Third and five. Harvin was the intended receiver, and it's incomplete. It'll be fourth down. And I expect we'll see. Well, yeah, yeah, but yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> I think the point is the world is full of lawyers, but we don't have enough field goal kickers. Oh, man. 27 <laughs> yards. That's, that's Vern at whatever cut. Running backs on either side of Crompton now on third down and two. Crompton back. Got a man. It's oh. caught. No, 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 no. Overs. I, I, Marky Anderson pulled yeah, it out. I think he did. I forget the one in between. Right. On fourth down, Crompton. Comes to his left, pulls it up, it's almost picked off. It'll go over on downs. That was Joe Hayden, whose ankle. Line of almost 10 to 13 percent of plays over the whole season. That's good news for Florida, and I'll tell you why. Third and 10. Here's Tebow back to throw, gets a momentary good block, and it's caught for a first down at the 32 yard line. Yep. Lewis Murphy, number nine, in front of down and nine. Here's Tebow. That's Rainey. Goes right. Yeah, that was a good call. Yeah. That's the call I'd make right there. Well, the balls are going to drop to one and two, 0 oh and one in conference play. And they still got to go to Georgia. Florida takes a big step. I mean, excuse me, about Florida. But now I think this victory is going to put Florida in, in the conversation again. You know what else they've done today? No turnovers. Three straight games. Three straight. A little perfunctory handshake yep. at midfield. That was a Bill Belichick shake. There's no <laughs> doubt about that. <laughs> it was indeed. Tebow leads his team to victory. Brandon James had a great, great day on special teams. It was Percy Harvin. Florida wins it big. They controlled from the very beginning of this ball game. And so from Neyland Stadium, for Tracy Wolfson and Gary Danielson, I'm Vern Lundquist. Tim Brando is going to be along with the TIAA Kreft postgame show shortly.